Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we are going to show you how to assemble the frame of our HPC 200 evacuated tube solar thermal collector. First thing, you will need to open the packaging. Here you can see we are laying out all the pieces and parts to ensure everything is accounted for and undamaged. You will want to assemble the frame on a flat surface such as a driveway and avoid assembly in areas where small pieces such as nuts and bolts can become misplaced, such as your lawn. Parts consist of rear and front legs, with the former being shorter than the latter. There are leg supports on either side connecting the rear and front legs of the system. Each leg has a foot that attaches to its base. There is a cross brace that is attached to the rear legs. Near to the feet of the front legs attaches a bracket which will hold the cups in which the end of the tubes are fitted. There is the manifold which will be bolted onto the top of the legs. As well, there are the necessary nuts and bolts. During frame assembly, it is best to hand fasten all nuts and bolts. Firstly, attach the feet to each leg. Then proceed to bolt one front and one rear leg together. After the legs are bolted together, attach the leg support. Once assembled, repeat this process with the remaining leg. Next, attach the bottom bracket near to the base of either of the front legs. The bracket acts as a support holding the frame together and has slots which allow plastic cups to be attached. These cups will support the base of the evacuated tubes. When installing the bottom bracket, ensure that the smaller slot is on the top, pointing towards the manifold, with the larger on the bottom, pointing towards the ground. Working with the same leg, we will attach a center bracket. Once both brackets are secure, we will continue to fasten them to the other front leg. When both the bottom and center bracket are secure, then it is time to attach the cross brace. Firstly, take one of the cross braces and bolt it to a rear leg. Once this brace is fastened, bolt the other brace to a rear leg. Here you can see us attaching one brace to the top of a rear leg and the other to the base of the same leg. When the braces are secured to one leg, proceed to bolt them to the other, noting that the brace will be on a diagonal. When both braces are secure, you should bolt them together at their center point. Now that the frame is assembled save for the manifold, you can begin to tighten the nuts and bolts with a wrench. Mind that you do not over tighten the nuts and bolts lest you cause damage to the frame. Once the nuts and bolts are snug, we will continue by removing the nuts from the bolts on the manifold. After all the nuts have been removed, proceed to lift the manifold into position. There are four holes, two on either front leg, in which the manifold's bolts can be slotted. Once in place, we will proceed to thread the nuts back onto the bolts. When installing the manifold, mind that the holes in which the evacuated tubes will be inserted face downward. When the manifold is secure, check to ensure the system is squared up. You may also wish to double check all nuts and bolts are snug. 